no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to Newbie Farm. So, I got the soybean field opened up, and I got the header sitting there, and I just finished opening up the corn field. Since I got the corn head on, we might as well just combine the corn. Um, that would make the most sense. Okay, and our combine wants to be dumb here. Come on. All I want is a screenshot. It's not that difficult to ask. There we go. Okay, so I turned off this AI extension thing. Except it still wants to... I don't know, this thing's dumb. So, I unloaded the load of wheat. I just about filled the combine, so we're up to 12,086 liters of... Uh, soybean or er, yeah soybeans and then we just dumped a fairly full load of corn onto the tractor I think it was probably about 70% full or something like that but uh, yeah actually not doing too bad in the corn and the beans uh, we might get some pretty decent yields off of these okay why I turn this off but it's still wanting to take over. There we go. Now we're running. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty good yield. Uh, this is the last video on uh, Newbie Farm here, at least maybe for a while anyways. Uh, tomorrow we will be starting on uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley or UMRV We'll be starting on that map tomorrow um, Oh man uh, Today is Saturday as you can tell from up in the top there um, Yesterday I went ahead and got the uh, save game set up for uh, UMRV I got all the equipment purchased I got a haul to the farm I've got it uh, parked and all that fun stuff so everything's ready to go and uh, yeah so we'll uh, get started on that tomorrow uh, that'll be out at 6 p.m. central time as always so make sure you go check that out tomorrow <clears throat> I know it's been a long anticipated series from a lot of people and I've been waiting for for a long time to play on the map uh, actually the Friday morning uh, when it first came out I started playing on it right away uh, I went and downloaded it as soon as I got up because it was released like super early in the morning it was released at like five or six o'clock Friday morning um, super early but uh, I went and downloaded everything that took maybe about a half hour something like that half hour hour I was ready to play uh, and I set up a save game, you know, running tons of equipment, and I'm running like, uh, let's see how many fields am I running? Uh, 12 fields, and they're all the larger ones, and, you know, I'm running a bunch of large equipment, lots of equipment. I spent about six or seven million dollars on equipment, uh, at least. Uh, one thing that I do that does kind of suck is that you start out owning every single field on the map that's kind of annoying because um, really then there's no point like you know you're not upgrading your fields the only thing that you can upgrade is your equipment I mean I guess in a way it is kind of nice but then again you know like it's nice for the way that I'm playing on my other save game but for the series it kind of would be nice to be able to like purchase fields and stuff um, but whatever uh, I didn't have to take out a loan thankfully uh, I got plenty of money by selling all the starting equipment uh, I had plenty of money to buy all the equipment that I needed um, and everything I still have quite a bit of money and I even actually did pay back uh, whatever loan the game started me out with so 
Um, you know, it was kind of nice. Uh, that's always nice when you don't have to take out a loan. When you got plenty of money from just selling your starter machines. Because uh, then you don't have to worry, you know, that's one less thing to worry about having money for. Um, so, we did start out pretty small. Um, but there is a kind of a mix of, like, new machines and old machines. Uh, you know, like, I bought a John Deere 2100 uh, disc, or not disc, but 2100 Ripper. You know, just because, like, the... Like, the chisel that we're using on here, that's way too small for that map. And I really don't have anything else that would, like, be fitting at the moment. So, we'll just have to work with the 2100 and then upgrade uh, a little later on. <clears throat> I could have probably bought a couple of bigger, newer items, you know, with as much money as I had left. But, I really don't want to do that. I want to just, you know, we're going to have to use quite a bit of the money in fuel and seeds and fertilizer and... Uh, chemical as well so uh, but you know that's that's kind of another nice thing I'm not too worried about going in the hole uh, with you know purchasing the fuel the seed the fertilizer the chemical uh, you know paying daily upkeep on machines all that stuff um, it's kind of kind of nice so So it is kind of neat, this six row header is actually taking out six rows of corn in a pass. Um, I noticed that as I was opening the field that it was actually taking six rows. Which a lot of times a corn header will take like a couple rows more uh, than it actually is. Just because like sometimes the nodes are set out a little bit far and they're grabbing that one extra row. Uh, kind of like with all the grain head. Sometimes it'll take, you know, like, sometimes it won't go all the way to the edge of the header, and then sometimes it'll go just a little beyond. I don't know why it, why things work like that, but they do. Just the joys of farm sim, I'll say. So, we're actually already about halfway down with this field. Uh, we'll unload the combine when we get back up to that end of the field where the tractor is. It almost doesn't look like the ground is fertilized. Like, it doesn't look any darker. But I guess it could just be the way that 17 is set up. That once it comes harvest time, it kind of disappears. I don't know. Because I know in, like, 15, it always stayed dark until you combined over it. And then, like, if you missed... Like, if you got the, you know, the visual piece of corn... Sometimes there'd be a little something left in the field where... It, you know, like if you went over it with the, uh, you know, with your header, it would show the animation like you're combining something. Your grain tank would get a couple liters more. I don't know. That was always something that kind of, kind of amazed me. I'll say. Um, it was kind of definitely interesting. Holy smokes, we're gonna be pretty close. There we go. All right, so we'll unload into the trailer and then we'll just keep combining until. Uh, until we fill again. Whoops. That's a little closer, a lot closer to the tractor than I thought I was. Can't even actually see anything. So this will fill the trailer completely. Uh, and then I'm sure we'll probably still have some corn left in the tank. We still got about 14% left in the tank, so. But we'll, like I said, we'll just keep combining until, uh, until we're full, or you know, like very close to something like that. Oh man, I totally messed up that turn there. So yeah. Um, we actually, we should be able to combine quite a good portion of this field here yet before we're full, because I did 
four end rows on that end. I did. I only did two on this end because we got that space. There's no hedges or anything on this end of the field. Um, and then a down and a back. And that was about half full. Or no, that was that was 70% full or so. And we just did probably what do we do? I'm gonna say eight passes maybe. I don't know. We did we combined quite a bit there before uh, before it filled. I mean now we're at 26%. So. We're at 14, so it's filling about 12% to pass, give or take. So about 8 or 9 passes and it's full, which isn't too bad. Definitely is a little bit of a slower process uh, with a 6 row head, but... It's so quiet in the cab of this thing. It's like loud out here and then you go in the cab and it's just so quiet. So it's maybe it's maybe 12 or 13 percent that it fills. It's probably like a little bit better than 12 percent so after a couple of passes it'll like go one percent more than it would if it was like exactly 12 percent in a pass. I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling I guess. But, uh, yeah, so we're, we're just about done with this field. And it shouldn't take too terribly long to finish up that soybean field either. Um, it is currently 11.24. I gotta leave in about, about an hour. Um, and get ready to go to that rodeo that I talked about. Um, I am gonna take the GoPro. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any footage of it. Um, of course, you know, this video is the day after I'm recording it that this is going up then um, and so you guys will see it you guys will see it uh, see that rodeo video you know if I do it whoa, 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 whoa. if I do get some video that will probably go out uh, you know the same day as this video or else tomorrow so So I'm either going to get, I'm hoping to get this full video recorded before I have to leave, um, but I'm not exactly sure if that's going to happen, because in about a half hour I need to go start making something to eat so I can eat before we leave, uh, or before I leave, uh, so I'm going to have to probably just cut the video and then continue recording it the day of. Yeah, like the day that it'll go up. So. This thing is actually kind of guzzling fuel a little bit. But I guess we have combined about, let's see, we've combined four hectares total. So the 1.94, that's just outside rows from the looks of it or something. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe that's, okay, let's see, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the heck it's talking, like what the heck it means. Maybe that is like... Um, today, like this session, let's look here once. Uh, statistics, statistics. Here we go. Uh, harvesting time. Harvested hectares. Okay, yeah. So that's the session, and then the four is total. Although it should say four point one, not four point zero, but it's probably off just a little bit. But I would I would judge the uh, 
in-game thing a little bit. You know, like I'd I'd go with that, follow that a little bit more than I would uh, the one on the combine here. Just because who knows the combine it could count like, you know, if I accidentally turned the combine on while I was driving down or something like that. I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, there now I just jumped up to 4.2. So. Okay, so we're not going to make it another pass, and I want to be unloading on this end of the field, so we'll just go ahead and we'll leave this guy sit here. We'll grab the tractor here. We will go dump this load of corn, and then we'll come back and unload the combine, and then we can get this soybean field, or corn field finished up, and then get started on the soybean field. So first off, what do we got for corn right now? Oh, it is still counting, okay. So I guess we'll see what we end with here. 21,510. So then we got, uh, we'll have at least, it'll be a better than half full load. Well, yeah, cause a combine full Fills it over half. Our combine isn't quite full, but it's close enough. So we should have just about another full trailer load of uh, corn come off this field. So, I mean, two loads of corn, that's. Oops. That's really not that bad. Um, jump over here. Get this guy on loading. Whoa, 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 whoa. Darn it! Oh, that sucks. I did not mean to do that. I was trying to adjust the combine so I could fill up portions of the trailer. Darn it. That's really unfortunate there. Well, I don't really have anything to clean that up with right now, and uh, I don't want to lease anything. But after I sell the harvest off, I'm hoping to have enough money to get started on cattle. Uh, I am probably going to take out a loan, too, um, and just get some of the equipment to start cattle, because uh, I would like to do those. And we actually only have one more pass left. Um, but, yeah, so I will... Uh, be buying like a loader and bucket and stuff like that so I can come back down here and I can uh, I can grab that later on I'm not too worried about it right this moment because I'm not gonna be selling the grain right now anyways I'm probably gonna sell enough to try and get the equipment that I want to buy so but I've got like the the wheat the barley the canola uh, and then the soybeans that I can sell first before I have to sell the corn, so. Alright, last pass of corn. And I think what I am going to do is I will cut the video and um, I'll finish recording the rest of it the day that you see this video. So that way I can you know, make sure that I get time to eat, get time to... Um, grab a couple of things and then make sure I get time to go over because uh, I'm my cousin and I are going down together so I have to go uh, meet my cousin at her house and then jump in with her and then we will uh, drive down to the rodeo it's about an hour and a half two hour drive or so something like that so we want to leave uh, leave with plenty of time 
That way we can be there before it has already started. So. Okay, so there's a 67% full trailer of corn. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this header off in the corner of the field here, on the edge of the field more like. We'll just dump that off there. We'll hop over and hook onto the grain head, and then we'll go unload that load of corn, bring the trailer back, and then, uh, then I'll do the cut, and then I'll be back. It'll be a second for you guys, and uh, a day for me. It's always kind of funny to think about that. That, uh, you know, what takes a day for me only takes a second. You know, a pause that I finish up in a day only takes a second to come back for you guys. It's kind of fun. Kind of interesting to think about. I mean, I'm sure most people think it's just something stupid, but I don't know. I find it kind of funny. And this tractor loves to blow black. <laughs> this is a pretty nice little trailer. Uh, I like this thing. Okay, so let's find out what our uh, ending amount of corn is. So I did switch it to the back because it unloads like three times as fast. It takes less time to unload. So we got 30,914 liters. So about three trips to sell all the corn, which isn't bad. But uh, okay, I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to take this back to the field and then um, uh, we'll be back to combine soybeans. So, see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so next day and uh, just getting back into the combine in here now. <clears throat> um, so I'm recording this part on Sunday. It is currently around 9.45 in the morning. Um, yeah, the rodeo was pretty awesome yesterday. I did not record anything. Uh, in fact, I pretty much forgot to take my GoPro out of the pickup even. So, but, oh well. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was extremely warm out. Every once in a while we'd get a cooling breeze come through, but it would last for maybe five seconds and then go away again. And then uh, the town where the rodeo was, I forgot, is on a different time zone. So my cousin and I were in a rush to leave, and we get down there, and we're an hour early. And uh, completely spaced the whole time difference. <laughs> but uh, they had a car show there too, and it was the grant, or well, the uh, it was the fair days. So. Um, they had like their 4-H and all that stuff so we went and looked at the cars and went and checked out the 4-H stuff and kind of meandered around for a little while and killed time and then uh, another cousin of mine from that area she came and so we hung out with her a little bit and then went and uh, got ready for the rodeo and sat and waited there until it started and then uh, sat until the rodeo was over and then we left. Man, I keep missing these little pieces. I'd like to pick up all this soybean. So, uh, yesterday I sat and calculated. Uh, I figured out kind of what <coughs> excuse me what equipment I would use for um uh, like animals and stuff 
and I figured out all the prices of everything and like how much it would all be and I figured everything out and it's gonna be like a hundred and some thousand dollars so I have a feeling I will have to take out a loan I don't remember exactly how much it was now um, but it was I think it was maybe like a hundred and twenty five thousand or something like that I don't know that number just kinda sticks out in my mind for whatever reason but uh, yeah so definitely gonna be expensive to get into the animals and that's that's just the equipment mind you that's not the animals or anything uh, you know you still have to figure in the cost for the animals and all of that stuff too but I don't even know if there's much for like grass areas it really doesn't look like it so I'd have to like probably lease maybe field nine and plant that in grass or something too i don't know that is kind of annoying that it's like that Yeah, this is uh, the last video on Newbie Farm here. In fact, as soon as I get done recording this clip for today's video and get it uh, working on rendering, I am going to start recording a video for that series. I'm going to try and record a fair amount in advance if possible. as I possibly can, that is. Getting closer to being done with this field now. So I think maybe I will just sell this grain on camera. We'll go ahead and we'll sell it all. Everything but the corn, maybe, or maybe we will see. Because I think, don't the animals take grain and stuff now? Power food. So I think, is that, like, grain, or is that, like, these pallets? See, that's just pig food is all they got. Uh, silage additive. So you can see here we do have the ability to buy bales. Uh, $8,600 can buy four bales, uh, four round bales, but it kind of, I don't know, I don't think it would make sense to buy them. I mean, like, if it was a case where, like, let's say on UMRV where we're playing with Seasons, Let's say it's like the middle of winter and we run out of bales. Then I would buy hay. But, you know, otherwise I wouldn't, I wouldn't really buy the hay. I would just buy the machines to make it and just make hay. Because otherwise that just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm going to just split this field here. hoping to turn around soon enough that I didn't hit that, but I guess I did not. I 
It is kind of funny that these back wheels on this thing don't get dirty. And, compa and compared to all the other mods that the guy has done that did this, because like the same guy did, you know, this combine and the tractors that we're using. He did the chisel that we're using. Um, you know, this thing actually doesn't get very dirty compared to those. I mean, the wheels on this get, the front wheels get very dirty. But the combine's, combine itself really doesn't get that dirty. But it's kind of funny how, like, its tractors and everything get super dirty, but the combine really doesn't. And I would assume that the combine should be, um, much dirtier than the, uh, tractors are you know for the most part because I mean the combine you got all the chaff dust blowing around you so the combine really should be a whole lot dirtier but especially like the back end of it and like maybe the front too This is pretty much the same way that I cut hay all summer long. Cut around the edges, all in the same direction, you just keep going around and around. Probably about six times is what I usually did. <clears throat> I'd go around four times, you know, turning on my corners, or, you know, just kind of continuing around, and then I'd go, you know, my fifth and sixth rounds, those I'd, I'd be cleaning up my corners and squaring everything off, and then you'd pick a spot to split the field, you drive straight down it and then you just keep going around and around you know going to each side just like this until either you finished a section or it's you know there's a really big drive in between the you know like let's say the edge of this patch started right here and you know that was a super big you know, drive in between the ends. Then I'd, you know, I'd stop and I'd go down this end and I come back to the other one, and just keep doing that until that patch is done. Or if the patch was getting like really small, then I'd do it too, and then I'd just go cut out another one. <clears throat> so basically, what I'm doing here, this is basically how I cut the hay. But with the sickle mower, you're pretty limited on uh, how you can cut it, so, in terms of the way that you drive. So we've cut five hectares already. So roughly, each field is about a hectare, you know, average. I know we checked everything, or well, some of them in the beginning there. Wish we could do that again. So let's see, we've got 6, 7, 8, 10, and 11. Oops. So field 6. 1.57, 0 1.29, 0 0.63, 0 0.7, 0 0.82. I don't know why it like completely lags like that when you try and look at the field sizes of fields that you don't have an edge path for. I suppose it's probably harder for course play to tell because it hasn't had an actual edge recorded on it. Which would make sense, I guess. But
I'm just gonna go over to this other side here and follow that down. Just trying to keep the auger over cut ground versus over the crop in case I do fill up, but I don't think I am. But oh well. Still gonna keep cutting this way, I guess. We're not quite gonna fill, I don't think. I'm guessing it'll probably be kind of close, but I don't think we're going to completely fill. Not off of this little patch here. I mean, we've only filled 70% off of more or less almost the entire field. So. And then sometimes what I do is when a patch got really small, something that was like this, where it's you know at a angle and stuff. Um, show you guys, I guess. A lot of times what I do is uh, I would just spin around like this. And come back up here. Spin around again drop the mowers just like that I just basically do like a big circle going around and then basically going exactly the same way that I had just gone except just a little farther over just a little tiny whoops the wrong key there. Just a little tiny bit left here. I do want to look at something once too. So my automatic engine start is off. Huh. So I don't get why it shuts stuff off. Switch over to the combine because we don't need to lift the header anymore. So we'll lift when we shut her down. All in all, pretty good harvest, I would think. Or I should say, I guess. So we'll dump this load of soybeans in to the tractor here and we'll just shut that down and then we'll go ahead and we'll go load up with uh, the last of the, you know, with whatever amount of soybeans we can and we'll just start off selling it right away I guess. So we'll just fill the trailer the rest of the way and head on out. Maybe I won't sell all the grain. We'll see. I might just sell some of it. I don't even have it showing where the elevators are and stuff. We got some great demands going on here. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, oh yeah, we got a great demand on corn. And a great demand on potatoes. Okay, so we got soybeans. Where is the best place to sell them? Seven ninety-three at the freight yard or the bakery. So freight yard is way over there, and the bakery, <coughs> excuse me, is right here. So I think we'll just go to the bakery with it. Is that the closest? And we are just past the top of the hour, so we got a whole hour to sell soybeans and everything else, really, before the prices tank. But it should hopefully not take that long. Ok, 
Okay, so what do we got left for soybeans? Just 4,000 liters. So I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to worry about selling that right now. It's just a little tiny bit. <clears throat> so we go out to the road. We take a right. Take a left. Take a left. And then we'll find it. <laughs> it's quite the drive, actually. Yeah, think about it. We'll just hop on in the cab here and take a drive. actually hook another trailer to the back of this. I suppose you could hook another one of these to it. I remember the old newbie farm. Uh, these hills weren't actually here and that water, I don't know if it was, maybe. But the dealership had a road running right through there and stuff. So those hills weren't there ever. And, uh, it's kind of like a shortcut or something. Big old forest area there, it looks like. They're sure struggling on some of these hills. So that looks like the bakery right there. There it is, bakery, not brewery. Right there. Yeah. The brewery is way down there. Holy smokes. All kinds of little side roads here. kinds of trees too that can be cut so I'm hoping I won't have to take out a loan to be able to buy the equipment to dairy farm and the cattle of course but who knows okay so we're starting with 20,000 388. I'm going to use a pencil for this so I can just erase it. I guess I don't actually. So 10,482. I don't need to write things down because it shows it. I sometimes forget that. That wasn't bad for that load of soybeans. Okay, so next we'll sell the wheat. What do we got? Holy crap, these prices are horrible. Uh, the port. Holy smokes, that's an even longer drive. Okay, how about our barley? 343 at the garden center, that's near the farm. Kind of. I don't know 
world do you get there? There's gotta be some kind of cut across road somewhere or something. Oh yeah, I see it coming out of the farm there. So there is still a road back there, it just doesn't cut across over to the um, to the dealership anymore. It is still there. That's the kind of fun, kind of the fun thing about uh, you know having played a map for so long is you know seeing all the things that are so much different in the different game versions and different versions of the map even. It's all downhill from here now. So we'll sell the. We'll sell a couple loads of barley, and then uh, so what are we at here? We're at 23 minutes or 24, I guess. Yeah, we'll sell the barley, and then uh, I'll probably call it good for the episode here, and I'll do the rest of the selling off camera some other day. That's kind of annoying. We'll shut those off. Oh, I guess there is one little hill. much faster to go the other way. This is closer. So we have two loads of barley to haul. A full load and then a partial. And while it's going to be a a pretty full load, it's not going to be 100% full though. But that doesn't really matter, I guess. Because if it was 200% full loads, that would mean that there's probably still some left over. And so the loading wagon we can just about afford. It's $31,000. And that's the smallest loading wagon that is in game, and that's still super expensive. All right, we'll get us barley here. All right, garden center, here we come. That must be. Let's see here, once. Does it do anything if I walk into this trigger? Open animal dialogue. So to buy one cow is fifty-two hundred dollars. So let's say we buy maybe twenty cows. That's a loan, one hundred and four thousand dollars. 
We could go for 10. That would only be 52,000, but... I don't know. I think I will end up taking out that loan. Because it's going to be... A lot more money to get started on it. And I don't want to just wait... Uh, oh, wait another season. Because then it's... You know, I don't know. Because I can make a lot of money off of the dairy cattle as well. I would rather get started on dairy than be, uh, you know, upgrading some of my equipment. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure it would be a good idea to upgrade, but I can get through another season with what we got. I don't think uh, this past season was all that awful, so... That goes up to that field there. Then that other road that we saw that connects right here. See a nice big grass area there. So there is some grassy areas, I guess. Some stuff that we could probably cut. And this is rough right here. On that one side, mostly though. Need to turn here. Yes, we do. Holy crap! Talk about a crazy road. This is insane. Okay, so that looks like the cell point right there. Oh, you can actually go either way. Can't you? Oh wait, no. There is only one way in and out of here. Alright, let's see what we can make off this barley. Ooh, that's painful. Under $5,000 for that load. Yeesh. That's pretty sad. In fact, that's very sad. Okay, so we'll sell this one more load and then that'll uh, be about it for today. Or actually, I think I think I might just do the rest of the selling off camera. So that way I can get this video going and can get started on the next one. Just because I have quite a bit of recording ahead of me today. So, um, yeah. So I think I'll just end the video here. Um, like I said, just I'll do the rest of it on my own. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. So tomorrow we'll be starting the new series on UMRV. Hope everybody's as excited for that as I am. Um, but yeah, so we'll be starting that tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, if you're on a different time zone, I have no idea what it would be unless it's Mountain Time. Mountain Time I know is 5 o'clock Central Time or 5 o'clock p.m. Not 5 o'clock Central. Um, I know that that would be 5 o'clock, anything else, I have zero idea, um, but yeah, so I think this is going to be the last video on this, uh, I think UMRV is just going to kind of take over now, but uh, yeah, anyhow guys, thanks for watching, and as always, whoa, anyway, 
as always, we will see you guys tomorrow.